Hi guys, um, I'm finally getting around to editing all this footage from the hospital, so I just wanted to add this quick into each of the videos. This video is several parts because there ended up being so much footage, um, and so this is going to be in front of every video, so if you're on part two or three, you're seeing this again, but I am sorting through all the footage, and there's a few things I want to say quick. Um, one. I am so not myself in this in these videos. I as I'm watching this, I'm like, "Wow, you're really slow." Like pain meds kind of a they were affecting me a little bit. And it's funny. At the time I felt totally fine, but nope, I can definitely tell that I was uh I was on pain meds. And two. So, this entire vlog, I'm itching my face. And there's I have a good reason for that, okay? The reason that this entire vlog is me itching my face is because pain meds, specifically oxycodone and morphine, make me very itchy. And most of this hospital stay, I was in horrible pain, except for when I had just had pain meds. Um, and right after I'd had pain meds, the pain was low enough that I was able to pick up the camera. Um, but also, since I just had pain meds, I was also in the window of time where I was very itchy. So <laughs> that's why all of this footage is me like itching my face because pain meds. So I just wanted to say that because I can just imagine all the comments being like, why are you itching your face? Like, wow, you're itching your face a lot. It's like, yep, I know. <laughs> so I'm just now getting around to editing, to finishing up editing all this footage. It's taken me a long time, um, about three and a half weeks, but hopefully, well, you guys are seeing this now, so these vlogs are up, but I'm so glad that I was able to film this for you and share my story um, of my surgeries with you guys. So I hope you enjoyed the videos, and thank you guys so much for watching these videos. Love you guys! So we're in the ER, they're going to access my port, draw some cultures, make sure that's not infected. They're, I don't know, it looks like I'm going to be admitted again, so that's happening. He's going to have to, he's got the strongest hands, he's going to have to hold my hand while they stick my port. They're going to have to ask me in the Miranda voice. I'm less than excited. <laughs> I'm less than excited for that, but they're gonna put numbing cream on it. Almost due for more pain meds, which I can definitely feel that. And I'm freaking out because I couldn't find my iPad in my backpack. I was trying not to have a tantrum. I didn't realize it was under my arm. <laughs> Story of my life. But and I think they might do some imaging to see if there's like an abscess or something. By my GJ tube. We accessed my port for the first time, and I was so incredibly worried because I thought it was going to hurt really bad, and it was not bad at all. It was not that bad. I thought it was going to be really bad. Did you? Yeah, I was worried, but she did great. She was so brave. So now I have a working port, and I think we were going to be able to use this and maybe pull this out if I have to stay, um, which it kind of is looking like I will. But my feeding tube site is really really hurting and not sure why we did some x-rays x-rays looked good so far bloods looked good but yeah so things just really aren't going well my feeding tube is in a lot of pain and so we're being admitted again and pain meds just really aren't helping much but luckily we got this IV out because my port's working good. And at least my it doesn't look like there's an infection. So positives. Looking around. Changed pajamas, hooked up to some fluids through my port, which is so nice. I actually really like the port. So that's good. Um, and it didn't actually hurt that bad to access. I was really super worried. Pain is a bit better, although I'm it's starting to get a little worse around my tube again, but 
You know what it is. It is what it is. Yep, I have to drink two whole things of these tonight, so. Fun stuff. That's going to make me not feel great. But, uh, what was I going to say? Oh, so I have a saying that I think should be like a new chronic illness saying. So, people with chronic illness, um, just because you have a chronic illness doesn't mean that your life is always bad. It just means that your roller coaster has more hills. I like that. I, I came up with that. I came up with that. The sprain. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, and also, you guys can go check out my Instagram. I posted this on there, but this is how I feel today. I really, uh, I've been impaled. So true, though, I have been impaled. Yeah, so we talked to the doctors and everything. I don't really know that we have, I mean, we have kind of a plan, but I don't know. So I'll talk to you guys in the morning. Hey, but you know what this means? I forgot. I'm going to finish my movie that I never finished in the two days. Do you want to watch it now or later? Um, we can watch it now. We'll turn it on. So, talk to you guys later. Good morning, guys. So, things are not really any better this morning. So, one of the things... Then, I'm sorry, this is TMI, but I haven't gone, it's Friday, and I haven't gone to the bathroom since Sunday morning. Well, I hadn't gone to the bathroom. And they did an x-ray, and I, I'm, from the looks of the x-ray, I'm like super backed up. So they've been doing, like, all sorts of things to try to get me to go to the bathroom. And it's not really working. So nauseous. I'm, like, gagging and reflux and everything. So they have, like, a weird concoction up there of, like, all sorts of medicines that are supposed to help you go to the bathroom. And it will clog my J-tube. So they're having, originally they were going to have me drink it, and I got, it was two full cups, and I got maybe, maybe one-fifth of the way through one of them, and was like over a bucket, ready to vomit. So they said they could put it through my G-tube and run it slowly, but that it couldn't be done through my J, but because of my gastroparesis, like, putting things through the G-tube is... It's pretty much the same as eating them. Um, they just sit there and make me sick. They could run it all night slower rather than it'd be more, it'd probably be faster if I drank it. Um, and I mean, it's a little better, but I spent the entire night, I would, eventually I'd just turn on some music in my headphones to try to distract myself because I would wake up for like a half hour fall back asleep for like a half hour and I would just be sitting over a bucket praying that I would just throw up because I felt so sick um but I slept with the bucket right here and it was not a restful sleep last night but they're hoping that once I go to the bathroom that maybe some of that extra pressure in my stomach is what's causing this extra pain so if that suddenly gets a lot better. I think I can go home, but we really don't know when that'll be at all, so. Sorry guys, I'm so itchy from all the narcotics. Um, I know it'll be too late by the time this vlog gets posted, but if you guys wanted more updates, you can follow me on my Instagram, which is Life with Stripes. I'll po I post updates there um, frequently, so I know I was planning to go home on Wednesday and then 
vlog like my first night home and then edit and post this vlog so I could update you guys on YouTube but now uh, it's gonna be a little bit longer time so obviously I can't pre-post this video and let you guys know that there's updates on there but yeah so even after this is posted if you'd like to continue receiving updates frequently you can follow my Instagram. I think I have a few visitors coming today just for like short five minute visit. But this port is incredible. I love it. It's honestly so convenient. I don't know. I'm enjoying the fact that when I want to just take a shower, I can just deaccess take a shower. My tube is kind of like an interesting tube, okay? So it looks like this. It's, there's like an adapter here, but it's like literally an NG tube. And then like, this is an extension, but like it was two, it's like two ports of a G tube. One of them they threaded an NG to make it a J tube one. And then this is just an extension. So we had a visitor come that was, Good, very tiring, but it was good. It was really nice to see him. Um, and I just played hospital bingo. I didn't win, but the doctor also came around. I'm gonna be here till at least tomorrow, finish cleaning out and doing all the things. <sighs> I need more pain medicine. I'm also going to hopefully try to decrease my narcotics because that doesn't let you go to the bathroom. But uh, I am uh, not leaving my bucket because I'm nauseous. I need them to stop pumping that into my stomach. Oh, I feel so. Uh, so I had another visitor come visit me. Um, my uncle came and stopped by. Took a shower, which we just covered my port, and I couldn't get my tube wet yet, so we kind of just like had like a shower head. But I got to rinse off because and changed my pajamas <sighs> because all of a sudden I'm sitting in bed, and I'm like. Why am I warm? Like, what is warm? Because I, I had an ice pack on me. And I'm like, why am I feeling something warm? The latch to my feeding tube popped open and stomach acid and bile and unfortunately all of this purple liquid that they're pumping into my stomach just poured out everywhere like I was soaked in my own stomach juices so that was fun so we had to change my sheets and I took a shower so well at least a shower came out of it but I think I said the doctor came around and will most likely leave tomorrow but we'll be here for sure tonight um Pain is just awful, like, surgery recovery is not fun. We're supposed to clean my feeding tube site again, but we haven't done that. So yeah, my grandma is coming down to visit me today and bring my siblings. And she's bringing my tubey clips that I got, like all of the tubing that I have all over is like it's getting tangled and so I'm gonna wear my tubey clips which I totally recommend they're awesome and so I'm having to bring those I'm also having to bring more button-up pajamas just gonna go buy some more for me because I have two pairs but one of them is soaked in bile currently and the other is dirty because I wore it for like three days straight so those are only two pairs that I have so she's buying more um, but I changed back into, because I didn't want to change into a gown. So right now I'm just currently 
in a in a t-shirt but it's easier to access my port um i mean in a t-shirt i guess it's fine but like with all my feeding tube stuff and my belly it's nice to have a button-up shirt and because for putting on a shirt it's easier to just slide your arms into a button-up versus trying to get it over your head but I mean overall my port is feeling much better like I'm able to move my arm more so if you're getting a port it takes about on your fifth day you'll start feeling really good but my poor I don't know how well you're gonna be able to see this but my poor neck is just bruised like all like the entire line of the tubing is just bruised but this is the needle that's in there right now and yes my dressing looks really loose but it's sealed all the way around we had to get a dressing that wasn't going to like that had to be loose here because I have my steri strips on and we don't when we pull the dressing off we do not want to pull off my steri strips got the trusty bucket still Nausea is actually a bit better right now, which is surprising, but good. I think part of it might be because I was getting so nauseous from everything they were pumping into my stomach because <clears throat> gastroparesis and pumping stuff into your stomach, like there's a reason I have a J-tube. Also, guys, look at my pick line site. But that is what the site looks like. It actually healed up really nicely. Um, I was worried about how it was going to heal because of the EDS. My skin does not heal back together well. But it actually healed really well. Um, if you feel it, it just feels like a lump. Like that whole dark piece. Like the whole like purple spot feels like a lump on my skin. Um, it doesn't hurt. There's no pain. And When I took a shower, I got that arm wet. And I was like, my brain is screaming at me that this is so wrong. Like, no, don't get it wet. Because for the past eight months, it's been like strict to no getting it wet. Guys, I'm going to be honest. I'm really tired of this pain. I'm ready for it to ease already. And I'm even in that period of time where I've had pain relief so I'm not with that like I'm not in that time where it's I don't have any relief in me but even with pain relief it's still bad look at the sunset it's a very pretty sunset wouldn't you say the things were looking as if maybe I was going to get to go home tomorrow but I've been saying since yesterday, my pain is getting worse. My pain is getting worse. And they were like, well, it's probably just constipation. And I was like, it's in like a big circle around my tube. And so today, around my tube site, it started to get like really hard. And it's kind of, the hardness has just kind of started spreading. And then I noticed that there was some drainage. So I was like, hey mom, hand me a Q-tip. I'm gonna clean off this drainage. And as I did, pus just like started pouring out of it so uh now there's quite a bit of drainage that we keep wicking away but i'm afraid the tube's infected which means i might not get to go home but i hope that i do so there is indeed an infection around my gj tube and we started iv antibiotics um and my sister came and redid my hair, got some new pajamas, and I'm going to bed. So I'll update you tomorrow once we see the surgeon and figure out whether or not this means I have to stay or if I can go home.